Okay, <laughs> this is all okay. And this is not a spring chick. Today we're going to be talking about one of those very popular issues, or actually one of those very fiery issues today, which is gun control. Which is, uh, the President of the United States is finding out that it was a wrong thing to take up because he has mobilized the whole pretty country against him. I mean, well, he, why would you say something like well, that? Because, because there's he, a lot of people that are saying, yes, gun control is good. Gun control is good, but not what basically want, he's, he's attacking the Second Amendment to the Constitution. Basically, he, 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 uh, every now and then you get a Democratic president that decides we need to get rid of everything. He's not mentioning it, Kate. That he, he doesn't bother to mention the fact that more people a year are killed by hammers than they are assault rifles. Oh, maybe they should outlaw hammers. Yeah, then, then more people a year die from knives than, are di than die from guns. We should outlaw knives. And more people a year die from automobile, uh, you know, intentional hit by automobiles than are die from guns and mm -hmm. uh, and rifles. So, so I mean, part of it is this this idea of like going into actually the idea of going into anybody's homes and removing things yes. actually whether it's guns or anything else is it's just by really itself. Stupid. Okay. It's, Yes, it's a fiery my, topic. When President Kennedy was killed, my father was a reserve officer in the Los Angeles Police Department. They they called him up and told him that the governor of the state it feels that the uh, that there's a chance that there could be an insurrection in this country, and in order to prevent that from happening, we need to go into the homes and and seize all of the weapons from the people to keep or keep the city from turning into a you know a bad you know. A, Anarchy, and my mother said, you know, my, my father told my mother that I remember. My mother said, you're not going to do that, are you? He said, my, we can't find anybody. The police department's going to pay. That's stupid. I, I mean, I think about from the police department. It's like, okay, we're going to go into your house and take your gun away from you. Yeah, um, I, I can guarantee you. There is no police officer in any country that even wants to go into a place on a domestic violence thing. Yeah, they don't like that. So either. to go into a home and seize guns? Uh-uh. Because uh, that, that you, uh, you know, they, they, they said, if you want gun control, you are going to have to go into the homes and forcibly take every weapon out of the homes. And that, you know, why that's not going to work? First of all, it's going to end up in anarchy. And second, that was going to do... I, I know people flat out that have taken their guns apart and put in, in Cosmoline and stuck them in holes in the ground. And they said, what's Cosmoline? Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's like petroleum jelly that they use for gun parts. And basically what happens is after they get through checking the house, they just go out and dig up the hole. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to get them. And then, you know, the, the just gun control is a real nice buzz thing, but it's totally it's, it's a buzz. I mean, here's part of it is when they talk about increased background checks. Yeah. Now, there's a lot, of, they'll go for that. Yeah, but it will never happen because the American Civil Liberties Union said it's a violation. You know, what happens is they hate, if they hate guns, totally hate it. But they hate invasion of privacy even more. And in order to do what, the, under the Obama plan, uh, doctors and nurses and other and, uh, social people, social workers, would have to turn in somebody they think might have a thought. Mm -hmm. if they, remember the minority report with Tom Cruise? Oh, yes. They, they may do something bad in the future. So you need to lock them up to prevent them from doing something bad. I the here, prison's already full. Yeah, but here it is. Uh, well. You know, this Republican may say something, may have thoughts evil about the president. He's automatically talked in, or the Republicans control. Well, we can't have another Barack Obama, so let's round up every Afro-American politician because they may have evil thoughts. That, yeah, like the, those thoughts, those are not going to go anywhere. No, they won't fly. Mm -hmm. Simply put, they uh, they said that the one thing they do agree on, right and left, that this president is responsible for more guns being sold than all the other presidents oh, in our nation's history. Oh, yeah, he's combined. making it really popular. They have lines in California, two or three blocks lying to get permits to buy guns. <laughs> and why would they become popular? Because everybody thinks that they're going to be taken away. Yeah, and the instant you tell somebody they're going to lose, there are some rights in this country that people hold very dear. I mean, uh, like, you know, the, it's legal in some places to actually wear your sidearm if it's uh, if you carry it out in the open. It's not a concealed weapon, mm. so you can wear it in a western town. A lot. Remember, this is where we're doing this. This is the West. Most of the gun laws only affect concealed weapons, not displayable weapons. But Obama wants to take away the guns that the you know the hunters carry in the back of their windshield, on the back of their uh. trucks. Yeah, he also wants to, you know, he wants to take away the handguns that police officers take home with them. 
Hmm. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. He wants to take away military officers' weapons that they carry with them. Well, so. and one of the things that we've seen is since all of this has been happening, if you look in the local paper, we've seen that. God, we have never seen so many rifle cells like you can have to I mean, and big rifle cells oh. and assault rifles that you can just go buy. Yeah, you know that you can uh, basically... Uh, and they're not that expensive. No, uh, can, I mean, surprisingly. Okay, uh, uh, you can buy the same AK-47 without a, without a handle on it is legal. The AK-47 with the handle, with the butt handle, is illegal. There's no difference, folks. There's no difference between holding it, you know, in left hand, and so brr, or holding it with a handle. Most of the people I know of in the military take it, throw the handle away, they unscrew it, toss it off. Because they would rather hold the whole weapon in their hand rather than the rest. You know, it's just a, it's a lazy man's thing. But, uh, but I mean, I, I, I've been on the kick for a long time. I, I've been using guns since I was a little fella. I mean, I, my father was in uh, business. And my father would take, my, my family didn't believe in babysitters, so when my father would do something in a war movie or a western or something, he'd, he'd haul me along and I'd end up in the movie. Because that, hell's a good way to keep track of your son. Well, I put him out there on the, in front of the camera, everybody's watching. I don't have a babysitter, I got 150 people on set watching him, so. Uh -huh. but, no, they used to. Actually, I mean, you, know, you think I had, about I had it. a lot of babysitters. But they would come by and they would, you know, uh, you know they, they'd sit there and, you know, like take the, the chamber out of a gun and then give me the gun. See, a, ch a, a pistol with no chamber, it, it's a useless toy, but it's something that you can sit there and play with. And, or they'd go, um, they'd give me uh, a rifle, the ho you hold the rifle, and they sit there and they they basically disable the rifle by taking the firing pin out. Well, and I think a lot of it has to do with the invasion of privacy. Yeah. I mean, and there's other people that are saying, well, you know, some of these shouldn't be in the homes because if the gun wasn't there, then the kid wouldn't have accidentally picked it up. Okay, we're going to try it. We're going to try this. If it's called if you know could have been, might have been, and would have. But um, if John Wilkes Booth had been stopped by a private, John Wilkes Booth would have never got into the uh, uh, into the area where he shot the president of the United States. If the people on the ground level would have done what they should have done, place was full of military, and got Booth when he hit the stage, Booth would have never gotten away. If, you know, if, 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 you can say, you know, the world is full of ifs, it could have, it should have been. It's just the way it works. It's but just, do you think part of this is just a nanny state? No, they want to make it a nanny state, and unfortunately our country rebels. Okay, the, you have, okay, what happened is Obama pushed the button on the 47% that don't pay income tax, federal taxes. Most of them own guns. Oh, I didn't know They that. own a lot. The, the gun-bearing population tends to be among liberal Democrats and the people at the other end. Republicans, strangely enough, own less guns than do Democrats. Really? Yeah. Uh, and and that's, that's legal guns. Democrats own a god awful lot of illegal guns. Oh, there's a difference between the legal and the illegal. And here's my argument on that, is that, first of all, there's the population that will get legal guns. There's a population, if they're getting illegal guns anyway, or they're illegal, the reason they have it is because they're not paying either the, the law is not important to them. Yeah. They're already committing a crime, so that's illegal anyway. Yeah. So what's another crime on top of the other one, right? Well, it, 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 okay, it, uh, it, people, okay, none of the people that do the shootings actually have the guns legally. Ah. They get them, they steal them from other people. Which means they would still steal them anyway. Or they go on the black market and buy the things. That, that, and then they want to tell you, well, we're going to ban this stuff. You know, there's 1.27 million links on the internet that tells you how to make an armor piercing bullet. Really? Yeah. Wow. There's over a million links on telling you how to make an assault gun, an assault weapon. Uh, so, I mean, anybody, you know that the reason why Teflon was banned was not because of Teflon was an environmental hazard. The reason Teflon was banned because people were taking bullets and dipping Teflon, dipping them in the, in the thing. And once you covered your bullet with Teflon, it made it go right through them. I mean, you could through an engine block with it. Oh, it did? Yeah. And you can ban assault weapons, you can ban the big heavy bullets for assault weapons real easily. Anybody know what a 30 6 is? It's really a good, powerful rifle they use for hunting. Uh, what happens is, when the hunter wants to stop an animal real sudden, he takes a he sit and takes a knife and score, puts a cross in the, each one of his bullets. Why? Because it basically what it means it hits the bullet, wipes out. It's called a dumb down. 
You going to stop people from using knives on legal ammunition? No, can't do it. Like, there, there's an answer, always has been an answer, with the ACL, with the, the ACLU will support, the National Rifle Association will support. Everybody will support the simple thing which has to do with ammunition. Um, I can guarantee you that if you can't stop what you're going to do with one bullet, you shouldn't use the gun to begin with. That's, I was taught that from way to people basically that were really good. I mean, Clark Gable taught. I was at a feeling range with my father, Clark Gable, and Clark Gable said, you're only shooting one, you only, you know, daddy's only giving you one bullet. He said, no, my daddy said, I only need one. And he said, you're kidding. He said, no, my father told me, he said that if you can't bring down what you're bringing down with one bullet, don't ever pick the gun up. So if they, uh, it's a simple thing, you, 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 you go in, you buy boxes in 50, 50 rounds, you have to bring in the shell, the empty casing to get a new, you know, you want a new box of 50, you bring in 50 things. If you bring in 48, you only get 48 rounds. It makes you also police your ammunition too, which means you don't leave it laying around. Mm -hmm. But that's the simplest thing, you just basically, um, you know, like people have bottle check-ins today, you go bring your bottles in, you know, you pay like five cents, you go to change it. Yeah. You bring in your shell casings to the, to the. Um, it doesn't take any more time, you know, but, you know, you have to bring in 50 empties for 50 new ones. And then they set and recycle the thing, I mean, they make money off of it. They, they, they you know, they have, a, they, they take the stuff, send them in, make money, so it's the same salesperson, all he does is he, because they're gonna, you're eventually gonna have to check out ammunition. That is one thing that they're gonna do is you're not gonna be able to buy ammunition without signing your name on a slip. If you sign your name on a slip, you might as well sign your name for I got 50, I bought 50 new bullets today. Here are my 50 rounds I'm exchanging for 50 new. Because it's it's a simple thing, simple, but yeah, you know, but the uh, Democrats don't want simple. They want it all banned. It's not gonna happen because the president's not gonna stop his security on his kids. Biden's not going to stop his grandchildren's security. Uh, Pelosi's not going to stop her security for the children, for grandchildren. None of these people are. Uh, they go to schools with armed guards everywhere. They travel with armed guards, but they're not going to. They will not set an example, you know. So, and they say, well, we're 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 more important than you are. Well, you're not, because you don't you don't you serve an office by the will of the people. Mm -hmm. Yet the people you tell the people you're not as important. They'll just kick your butt out. So. I mean, Gun control is something the president, he, he took a buzz saw and he can't, he's not even going to get through it his own party. 60% mm -hmm. of the members of the Democratic Party are gun control, are gun owners. And they are not going to give up the toys that they have. Totally not going to give up their toys. Because a lot of them also have weapons that they have never registered. You want to have people come, well, you, you know, what happens is every member, every Democratic member of Congress, every Democratic member of the ACLU, every Democratic big shot in the country is being watched 24 hours a day by somebody waiting to see them dispose of the guns that they don't have legally. Mm -hmm. So if you go into a home and you have an illegal weapon, they're going to arrest you yep. and throw the key away. And, and, and you know, you want to be a, a United States Senator that has an AK-47 in your house, never registered, never let anybody know you had it, they come in to do a house check and ooh, guess who's got something that he campaigned against? And then they take you out of the house with your hands behind your back. That is why you're not going to have the what legislation the president wants. Is for that fear. Anybody want to bet the president of the United States doesn't have a handgun somewhere? Mm -hmm. I'll bet you he does. Mm -hmm. He's from Chicago. You don't walk around Chicago streets mm -hmm. <laughs> without a gun on you, folks. <laughs> so I guess this is the topic not going to go away. So next time, this is okay. This is not a spring chip, and yes, there will be more gun control. It's a never-ending topic. Yeah, it really is. So, anyway. it's been it's been it's been done since. Um, oh, this is one. Danny, I think Danny Glover today said the reason why the Second Amendment is only there so that they can keep us slaves. Yeah. Huh. So anyway, wherever you're watching, subscribe to us. Follow our daily newscast in 3D. Come, yes, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Monty. Of course, come visit our new sites at mbnnewsvideoweb.com and montymobiles.net. And think big or not at all. And thank you once again for hundreds and hundreds of millions of links to content. <laughs>